As a fully vaccinated person, should we have any worries about walking by someone on the street who may be unvaccinated? Not at all. I would have no concern walking down the street past a person who's not been vaccinated and even a person who's been infected because the protection is really quite substantial. Stop lying! Stop lying! Stop lying! Stop! You can kind of almost see the end. We're, we're vaccinating so very fast. Our data from the CDC today suggests, um, you know, that, that vaccinated people do not carry the virus, don't get sick, um, and, and that it's not just in the clinical trials, but it's also in real world data. Um, Stop lying! Stop lying! Stop lying! Stop! We have a pandemic for those who haven't gotten a vaccination. It's that basic, that simple. This is a simple, basic proposition. If you're vaccinated, you're not going to be hospitalized, you're not going to be in an ICU unit, and you're not going to die. So it's gigantic. Stop lying! Stop lying! Stop lying. Stop. Lying. What is that word about promise? What the Barbara Jordan, what the American people want is simple. They want an America as good as its promise. Well, America is no good at all. <laughs> if you have made a promise that you don't keep, what are you? You are a liar. Did they promise the Native Americans? Did they write it in treaties? Did they fulfill it? Did they promise us 40 acres and a mule? Did they fulfill it? Brown versus the Board of Education. 50 years later, where's the promise? Is it fulfilled or are we still in segregated schools? The right to vote, you got it? But the minute they gave it to you, they were finding ways to take it back from you. Can't you open your eyes and see the house is burning? We are dying every day and we're in a hell of a condition because we've made a covenant with a government that is death itself with a people that have lied to us, deceived us, and murdered us, and rubs us good on one side and kicks us in the behind on the other. You are a deceived people. If you don't have the testicular fortitude to say what needs to be said, then sit down and stop trying to say you speak for our people and the hurt of the poor. Now I close, excuse me. I think I'm getting excited. I applaud this covenant. But it demonstrates our impotence. Because in many of the chapters, it keeps going back to not only what we do, but really, we start looking to the same liar that has continued to promise but never fulfill. And that's why God said, if my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, forgive your sins and heal your land. So don't look to them, look to God, Look to yourself, break your covenant with hell and death, then make a covenant with black America and let's help implement a road map that will free us and the whites that will be freed can be freed by this. The Mexicans, the Hispanics can be freed by this road map. We are a universal people. But those at the top, they're on their way to hell. And if I got any power, I want to push them into hell as fast as I can. We are a 
full nation now and we gotta stop thinking like Negroes and colored people and shines and ham bones and start thinking like free men and women who don't want to live on a plantation no more. I gotta go. Love y'all.